Hi, this is Christy from BirdMentor.com where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders and thanks for joining me today. This time of year always holds an air of magic for me. Think about it. The breeze is carrying the scent of winter to come. And the leaves, they're transforming with their last burst of extravagance before they fall to warm the earth for the season. And the birds, the birds! <laughs> These days of fall are some of the last that we get with many of the species that we've grown so fond of throughout the summer. I always try my best to soak up every song or sighting that comes my way this time of year. Plus, some of the most incredible spectacles of birds take place in the span of just a few short weeks right now. I'm here in Connecticut at the moment and was blessed to witness the wonder of a tree swallow tornado last week on the Connecticut River. Literally 500,000 tree swallows gathered from all around to eat as many insects as they could as the sun was setting. And then a few moments after that happened, they all got together and swirled and swooshed and then dropped to their evening roost in the form of a tornado. The closest I'd ever come to seeing that many birds of the same species in one place was in Washington State many falls ago where there was an elementary school that provided a roost, which was an old brick chimney, for a migrating flock of Vox Swifts. There weren't quite as many birds as there were this time in Connecticut, but to watch thousands of Swifts spiraling into a lone chimney was completely wild. Almost anywhere you go this time of year, you're sure to find some spectacle of migration to witness. Another example of this is what was at one time a shocking sight for me to see, and that is the large flocks of hawks that migrate together on their way south. Before I witnessed this with my own eyes a few years ago in New Mexico, I had a really hard time believing that these predominantly solitary kings and queens of the sky actually chose to migrate, quite often in large numbers, together as they moved south for the winter. One of my absolute favorite resources for this particular spectacle of migration is Hawk Mountain. Hawk Mountain has compiled one of the best sources of data for hawk behavior, the projected migration routes and numbers, as well as characteristic flight patterns that exist today. If you've ever witnessed a migration spectacle and you would like to share it, please do so in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your stories. And just a little heads up here, sometime in the next few months, I'm going to be opening up registration for my independent study course, Advanced Skills for Beginning Birders. So if you'd like to take your birding skills to the next level, head on over to the Bird Mentor website where you can sign up on the wait list. And until next time, please get out there and help spread some bird love in the world. Thanks for joining me. Another example are the groups of flocks, the groups of hawks, <laughs>